what have you encountered to be a Christian? A Christian that have not seen anything is the most vulnerable Christian under the sun. The substance of faith in the life of Paul continued to flow effectively because Paul have seen something. Jesus does not trust cannot trust a Christian that have not seen anything. They are too simple and they can easily betray him. Everyone under the sun can be a Christian because they have prayed a prayer. Because they are carrying the Bible. But not everyone can be a believer. We become Christians because we have biblical knowledge. We have read the scripture and we have assented mentally that it is true. But this gift, heavenly gift of being converted is for those who have inquired. Most of us, we ask ourselves questions in the 21st century. Why do we have people who go to church, who carry the Bible, and they still have lives that are ungodly? It's because these people, they are merely Christians, not believers. The word Christian was first given to believers in Antioch as a word of ridicule. What does it mean? It means those who behave like Christ. Not necessarily those who are inward, those who are in his image. It is possible to know the Bible, to speak it, to preach it, when Christ does not know you. We become his people, not because of our speech, not because of how we look, but because of his nature that has been put within. We become his people, believers, because adoption has taken place. That's why we are called born again. You are so much of God as if you are not a human being. You are so much adopted and having relationship with Jesus as if you have entered the womb of the spirit. It means that the day when you encounter Jesus, your relationship with the natural womb is hearted. That's why Jesus says, He who loves his mother more than he loves me, he is not worthy of me. Because when adoption takes place, it's as if your natural parents were not part in your creation. They came to Jesus. They said to him, Your mother and brothers are looking for you. He said, Who's my mother? Who's my brother? My brothers and my sisters and my mother are those who concern themselves about the things of God. Most of us, we are merely Christians, 
no believers. That's why sin, wrongful doing, habit of wrongness has found place in our lives. You cannot encounter Jesus and still find your way back to the garden. This is the crime scene. We are Christians without adoption. Hence, we cannot function with God. Tell your neighbor. We are Christians without adoption. Hence, we cannot function with God. It is an error to be called believers. Who are believers? Men and women that have been totally sold to God. The day when you encounter God, you become a slave of righteousness. You start to pursue that which God has ordained and you stop following your natural desires. Most of us cannot say that in my generation. It brings me to the title of the message. The extent which you believe. Let's open our Bibles in the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 46. If you have received it, it reads as follows. They came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples together with the large crowd were leaving the city. A blind man but Timas which means son of Timas was sitting by the roadside begging when Jesus heard that it when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called to the blind man, cheer up on your feet. He is calling you. Throwing his cloak around aside, he jumped to his feet and he came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go. Said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. The extent which you believe is the extent which you will receive from Jesus. Most of us, we are toiling in prayer, in fasting, when we have not met the criteria of receiving from above. Most of us, we are forever petitioning God, Jesus, to change our situation when the criteria of Christian receipt has not been met by us because we are merely Christians not necessarily believers we have read the scripture we have fallen in love with the rhythm 
of the verses of the Bible. But our hearts are still callowed and changed. We have believed God. What we are carrying is a mental ascent, not the spirit adoption. That's why we qualify to be called Christian but not believers. Everyone under the sun can be a Christian but not everyone can be a believer. Do not see it strange when you discover a Christian that has hate their heart. It is not a strange thing. Do not see it strange when you find a Christian that gossip, that steal, that kill, that destroy. It is an ordinary thing because these people have not met Jesus. They are not his people. They look like his people. They carry his name, but not his spirit. That's why in our generation, we find adultery in churches. We find fornication, lying, betrayal in churches. Because these people, in his name, they are talking, but they are not adopted. That's why Jesus said, in the end, I will tell them, get away from me. I do not know you. We are not his people until his spirit have taken over our confession. Words are very idle until the heart carries the confession. You are wasting your time. Tell your neighbor, words are idle until your heart takes over the confession. You are wasting your time. Some of you here, you abuse your spouses, but you carry the Bible. Some of you, you have extra marital affairs. Three, four people while you are with your partner on your phone and you are even brave to bring that phone to the house of God it is not a strange thing to us because we know you are not of God you are not shocking us